CDC has come out with some new, less restrictive COVID safety recommendations. And WGN's Jewel Hillary is joining us live near Northwestern Memorial Hospital with some details here. Hi, Jewel. Hi, good evening, Ray and Dina. So the CDC's COVID guidelines, these new ones, have some people feeling a little uneasy, while others say they could go either way. I just don't think that they should change anything right now. Cindy Nelson thinks it's too soon for the CDC to make COVID safety protocols more relaxed. Better to play it safe in your yes, eyes. Yes, yes, yes. As the CDC released new COVID recommendations, the city of Chicago shared that Cook County, including Chicago, is now in the medium COVID-19 community level. One of the most significant new guidelines targets people exposed to the virus. The CDC is now saying instead of isolating after exposure, it's okay to wear a high quality mask for 10 days and to get tested on day five. I think the CDC is really trying to meet people where they are. They're relaxing some things and taking some practical steps to align with the reality of where we are in the pandemic. While Dr. Benjamin Singer, a pulmonary critical care physician at Northwestern, says he understands the CDC's logic behind loosening safety protocol, he says some things remain the same. The best way for people to protect themselves is getting vaccinated. Mallory Trudeau says she can see the pros. It could be a good thing society gets to move on and the cons. But then, you know, if you're around immunocompromised people, they could get COVID and it could be more of a serious problem. Dr. Singer says while the current vaccination still works, a new shot could make its way to the public. Having a vaccine that is effective specifically against what's circulating now, I think would be a welcome update. And Dr. Singer says that the medical community is expecting an update on proposed new forms of the vaccine. Reporting live on the Gold Coast, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.